In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, we submit under your anointing and under your power, we give ourselves before thee, O Lord. Speak to us through your word. Your word is power. Your word is infallible. Your word is the double-edged sword that pierces through our soul. Search us, O Lord. Find us and bring us to your presence. In Jesus' name, amen. I greet you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And today's lesson is entitled Power of Fasting, extracted from the Gospel of Luke chapter 4 verses 1 to 3 i'll start with verses 1 to 3 today god bless you i shall read and jesus full of the holy spirit returned from the jordan and was led by the spirit in the wilderness for 40 days being tempted by the devil and he ate nothing during those days and when they were ended he was hungry the devil said to him if you are the son of god command the stone to become bread this is your word O lord lead us through your word in jesus name amen wow the power of fasting in verse one we learn that jesus filled jesus full of the holy spirit was led he did not lead himself passive voice he was led into a desert into a deserted place into a place of need into a dry place the feeling of the holy spirit here is the key of being led is a key to being led is a key to facing challenges is a key to go to a place of need called the desert. He was being led by the Holy Spirit, but he had to be filled with the Holy Ghost. And one is going to ask, when are we filled by the Holy Ghost? What qualifies us to be filled by the Holy Ghost? And we know that the filling of the Holy Ghost happens after baptism. If you read Acts number 2. And Jesus, yes, was baptized by the baptism of John if you refer to Luke 3 verses 21. So Jesus was empowered by the Holy Spirit. Who is the Holy Spirit? Not what is the Holy Spirit? Who is the Holy Spirit? In the Godhead, the Holy Spirit is the personality of God. So he was led by God into a place of need, into a deserted place, into a place of conception where there is nothing but the presence of God into a a maternity world. He He was led into a place of operation, into a place of new beginnings where there is no business or chaos. Being tempted of the devil when you read James 1 verse 13 we are told that God doesn't tempt, but we are tempted by our own desires. And you know, the funny thing here is that Jesus was not tempted by his own desires. In this case, Jesus is tempted by the devil. The question could be, why is the devil interested in tempting Jesus? Jesus was in a deserted place. His soul was empty embodied in a deserted container called the stomach and the stomach was without food but filled by the holy spirit filled with the holy with, with the holy ghost filled by the father himself who prompts the full operation of the holy ghost it's god can the holy ghost fully operate on a full stomach fully operate on a full stomach can he operate in chaos or business so why did jesus fast if he was already filled with the holy ghost after 40 days and 40 nights of vulnerability to the holy spirit vulnerability to the leading of the holy ghost vulnerability to god's empowerment jesus was hungry There's no way you can fast 40 days and 40 nights and never be hungry. He was hungry. 
So each day passing, Jesus was being emptied. Day number one, he was being emptied. Day number two, he was being emptied. But day number 39, Jesus was fully empty and he was being emptied of food in the first few days and of self because now food was no more there and he had to survive and of any element of carnality i believe that by the time jesus got to day number 39 he was empty of everything of these things of food of self of any element of calamity and the bible says jesus was hungry there came a realization would uh uh by the way i'm hungry here but verse 4 shows us that Jesus was hungry not for food, but for something more than just physical things. Jesus was hungry for eternal life. Jesus was hungry for the way and the way that is in the word of God. The word of God is life. Last verse. Temptation begins to unfold when Jesus seeks to empty himself for God. When we empty ourselves, we empty ourselves for God. Temptation begins when God has empowered us. Our te- temptations match the Holy Ghost power within us. Hence, victory is guaranteed for us. We are more than conquerors through Christ. Are we not? First Corinthians 10 verse 13. We are more than conquerors through Christ. The key to victory is to focus on the Lord. And we can never focus on the Lord when we are busy. Satan doesn't attack us until there is something drawing him to attack. And that is when we focus on the Lord, we are actually inviting demons to attack. We are inviting the devil to attack. But remember, rejoice in being attacked because it is a sign that something about you doesn't sit well with the devil. Something about you doesn't 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 put the devil at ease. Something about you is a threat to his domain. The one in you is certainly greater than the one that is in the world. When you are fasting, you are shaking the devil of his comfortability and he will attack, seeking to disempower you. The devil's attacking strategy is, as you can see in verse 3, the devil will question what God has already ordained. He says, if you are the son of God, command the stone to become bread. In the place of conception, may God be with us in Jesus' name. Amen.